Loading, always tracking. This is next weather. Gator wasn't having a good time though. He was just minding his business on a Friday and off you go. All right, 82 degrees right now, everybody. 85 is what it feels like. That's an indication of uh, humidity climbing and our moisture is going to be climbing. And yeah, we've been making thunderstorms today. Uh, nowhere near the record high. Thankfully, we're in the low 80s right now. We had, of course, those showers and we showed you that incredible scene coming out of Hollywood Beach with that water spout there. And we had another one uh, in Deerfield Beach. But look at the explosive thunderstorms now. We got the sea breeze that has collided with the Gulf breeze. You see them kind of meeting right there, and that's where you get all the thunderstorms. When that happens and when they're strong enough, sometimes they come back at us here, and uh, some of the models indicating that. So, doing a good job of uh, initializing here, and then watch what happens. Look at the clock there, six, seven, uh, diminishing certainly, but still progressing east. So, as the showers and a couple of thunderstorms arrive, I think they'll be weakening as that happens. So, that is looking good to me. For Saturday, it is going to be a hot uh, weekend. And, uh, no matter which day it is, Saturday and Sunday, that's because the front is going to approach. We're going to subtly and eventually a southwesterly wind. That's about as warm a wind as you're going to get here in South Florida. So it'll be hot and with the heat and with more moisture, we're making storms this weekend. Now we can plan the day with half of it being dry and then in the afternoon, we're going to have to dodge some storms for both Saturday and into Sunday. And then we're going to turn it to a, a bit of a stormy pattern heading into early next week. I think still it will be afternoon storms not all day rain events, but uh, we are looking a very wet season for uh, early next week. Let's put this in motion for the rest of your evening. Save for the showers. We're looking good. And then for Saturday morning, nothing new. And there we are at noon, still just a few clouds, but they're building now as the sea breeze comes in. And there you see the showers and storms between one and five o'clock. That'll be the window for some of these to continue moving uh, east and then they're all just collapsed down to the south and that will be the case as well as we head to through Sunday. In fact, I'll show you that we'll pop up showers there and storms and then as they collide and make some uh, lightning there and everything then pushes down to the south. So very similar both weekend days here. No alerts on the Atlantic waters. In fact, <laughs> fantastic. You saw the boats there. Southwest wind five to ten knots. Same deal for Florida Keys. This is a perfect uh, boat a weekend and the beach is not too bad at all. The rip currents, in fact, have gone down as far as moderate now. They've been very high with that east wind. So tomorrow it'll go this way with showers and storms, as I mentioned there by the afternoon and our temperatures climbing to the upper 80s. It'll feel like about 92. So keep that in mind. And then our rain chances remain with us as we hit through next week. 30 to 40 percent coverage.